want to take you guys back to a time six months ago when we were all super excited for a specific game to come out. That game was Payday 3. And ever since the Look Into video and everything that's happened, you guys have known that I've gone completely dark with Payday 3. Which is fine, I'm not just a Payday gamer man. But it's always been in the back of my head. I played it again last month and I just, I couldn't, there's nothing new, there was nothing to keep me invigorated, everything like that. So I just said, screw it, uninstalled the game and I haven't looked back since. But I am still keeping up to date with Payday 3 just to see what's happening because I didn't want this game to fail. I really, really didn't. But unfortunately, that's just something that happens. And that's just what we have to live with right now. And that's exactly what the Payday team has to live with right now. This game has unfortunately failed, as you can see right here. With only 352 players playing right now, 436 has a 24-hour peak. Now, it was worse. There was a time, and I couldn't find it, but you could have seen screenshots, and I did share it in the Discord, that there was nobody playing this game for a couple minutes. Like, it was actually officially dead for a few minutes. Now, what that means is, obviously, the game is lacking content. All the stuff that's been happening, all the stuff that people have been complaining about is finally getting to what people are... Like, it's getting to people's heads. Like, people are aware of how bad this game came out and all that good, fine and dandy stuff. So, what Payday has been doing these last couple weeks, or, uh, yeah, these last couple weeks is they have apparently... This has not been confirmed yet that I can tell, but it looks like they are holding off on the last three DLCs for this that was supposed to come out, one for each season, and are doing something called Operation Medic Bag. Now, what is Operation Medic Bag? Well, if you remember Operation Medic, if you're a Siege player, Rainbow Six Siege had that, an Operation Medic where they sat down, no new updates, and just fixed the game. Now, that's a great thing. I love it when companies do that. They're like, okay, we fucked up. We need to get some work done. But is it too late? Is it a little too little too late? Because some of these improvements would be considered normal shit in other video games. So obviously, what's the improvement highlights? Progression's getting changed, new content. The UV uh okay, I thought this was like an interactive thing. <laughs> Uh, UI revamp, thank god, stability, matchmaking, the servers, last time I played were fine. There's still issues of no solo mode and no offline mode, which has been the most heavily requested feature, and now they're taking their time to finally do it. It only took ya five months of bitching. So the initial fo focus is not even gonna be on that, by the way. They're focusing on quick play, they're focusing on quick play, a fucking unready button. Because, you know, basic shit cannot come out in a video game. A play again feature, not bad. I don't know if I want to keep playing the heist over and over again, but with only eight heists in the game, yeah, what am I supposed to do? A vote kick, which is nice. Loadout renaming, once again, a basic feature. Control improvements, recurring smaller content drops. Sure, I don't know. We don't know, have any info on that that I'm aware of. Rotating stealth modifiers, daily activities with rewards, mass vendor with weekly rotating inventory. Great, so you can get us to spend our money so we can eventually do the microtransactions that are still not in this game. Thank God, but they are coming. They did not cancel that. Don't you worry. Star Breeze wants money. Merge players into party post-match. Sure. And communication wheel improvements. Once again, sure. So I wanted to talk about the first actual big thing that we fucking care about. Solo mode and offline mode. It is clear to us that the community wants the ability to play PA Day 3 reliably and on your own turns. Yeah, I bought a video game, I want to play it. <laughs> in order to meet that need, we'll be doing two major changes in the current implementation. First, we will be developing a standalone solo mode so you can get in to without going through the matchmaking flow. Basic thing that's been in every payday game, except this one. This will be a local game on your own machine, thereby circumventing the need to connect to a server. We will see this rolled out in a few two phases. Phase 1 will still require an online connection to backend systems for progression unlocks, etc. That's fine. As long as it happens. Phase 2 will look onto the improved solo mode invitation and allow you to play the game without requiring a constant internet connection. This should stop you from dropping out of games if you lose your internet for 0.02 seconds. I'm glad they're looking into this, but as you can see, there is nothing about when this is coming out. 
And that's the biggest thing. People think this is going to be like the last thing to come out for Operation Medic Bag. Also, we have no idea how long Operation Medic Bag is going to be. Are they rolling these updates out consistently? Are they rolling these out when they feel like it? And stuff like that. There are some things that have already come into the game. They just haven't updated their initial focus thing to like check off stuff, which I didn't expect them to do. Loadout renaming, vote kick, and unready buttons are already in the game. Uh, play again, I believe, is also in the game. But it's all that small stuff. It's all this small stuff in the initial focus. Congrats, you did two minutes of coding work. Very proud of you. But, and you might be wondering, why am I giving this so much shit when this is a good, when I said in the beginning, this is a good thing. Because I really believe it's too little too late. I love Payday. I do. And that's why I'm so irritated with Starbreeze and the fact that they fucked this up. And honestly, I don't know if it was developers or if it was corporate, but I feel like it was both. The way shit works in this game is whack. They're adding, <laughs> oh, you're going to love this. They are adding a armor system that's coming in that is literally Payday 2 armor. It is ad adhesive armor, I think it's called. So if you, lose an ar if you don't lose an armor chunk, it will just slowly regenerate back. There is no reason to use any other armor in the game. <laughs> Like, straight up. There is one huge uh, thing they're doing that I'm so excited for. And I won't play the game until this is back in. I'm being serious. Challenge-based progression is getting removed. Thank you. The challenges will be removed and will switch infamy progression to be tied to heist completion. In a fucking heist game. God forbid, right? As part of this, we will revisit all the current heist payout values, add scaling per bag secured for infamy points, and also a new bonus that rewards loud playstyles. Finally, loud playstyles in a fucking horde shooter are getting rewarded. About time. The existing challenge framework will be repurposed to give cosmetic rewards for hardcore accomplishments instead. Fine with that to a degree. If I have to play Dirty Ice a hundred times to unlock a pair of gloves, I'm going to kill someone. <laughs> Obviously the UI revamp. I didn't think the UI was too bad, but it's whatever. It's very simple. Um, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. New content. There is more content coming. The three DLCs are still planned for 2024. We just know that they got pushed back maybe a month, maybe a week. We don't know exactly. There is another high free heist coming in the Payday 3. Thank God, I guess. But look, as cool as it was to see Cook Off and... The other legacy heist back if it's another legacy heist i swear to god that better not be the only thing we get for free content i already paid 40 dollars. i shouldn't have to pay more they are going to give us um a free lmg primary which if you remember my look into payday 3 i was so mad that lmgs are gone like they're just not here and i'm glad it's going to be a primary and not a stupid overkill weapon because i would have thrown hands I am shocked by this. The DLC pricing, I don't... If the fact that they said we received feedback regarding the DLC pricing not meeting players' expectations, we are currently reviewing the pricing on upcoming DLCs. So that just means that the one that came out is not getting changed, by the way. That one will always be that expensive, unless they somehow do it. But the fact that they've received feedback on it, and they're going to do something about it, makes me wonder if this was a development issue. Because there is no way in Sam Hell that corporate would have been like, yeah, lower the price, absolutely. There's no way. So that's why I said I don't know who to blame for all these issues. Is it the developers or corporate people? I really, really do think it's both. Yep, the in-game store. Once we are satisfied, satisfied with the improvements of intending to make Payday 3, we will revisit the topping in 2025. That's the, that's the microtransaction. They are still doing microtransactions. And I'm very curious to see how that's going to go. Because if they're going to low, you know for a fact, they're lowering the price of DLC. They are absolutely bringing this store in as soon as they make a decision on this. There's no way that is getting canceled. As much as it should. Because Payday 2 was perfectly fine with that one. But Payday 3 apparently needs one. Maybe you guys should have more confidence in your game. If you made a good game. Um, and then Unreal Engine 5. I thought the game was coming out in Unreal Engine 5. So whatever they want to do on this part... It seems like they're not going to worry about Unreal Engine 5 for a while, which is fine. The game looks good. I can't say it doesn't look good. It looks good, and the and the combat is fun. Like, I still hold on to those. Like, they are really fun. Oh, hey, shit. Right here, they added stuff. 
controller improvements, rotating stealth modifiers, unready button. They they actually checked it off. That's awesome, dude. I seriously, I appreciate that. But yeah, am I happy to see that this game is not being abandoned? Because they absolutely could have just ran. They could have just ran. We're like, no, 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 we fucked up. We're bad. Yes, of course. But I really think it's too late. The only way they're going to bring back as many players as they think they're going to is if heists are coming out regularly, all these improvements get made quickly, and we just need more content. There is not enough content in this game. And the fact that they released the first DLC heist at literally half the cost of the game was such a horrible idea. And I can't believe someone sat down and said, yeah, that's a great idea. It literally spat in the face of all the consumers saying this one heist is worth four heists. All right, you can deal with it. And it's crazy. I will say this. The one man that has been working his ass off is, of course, Payday Twitter Man. Payday Twitter Man has been not only dealing with issues, but also, like, still replying to people, like, as if Payday 3 never came out. Like, he talks, he talks like he's in the world, where do you live, in a safe house, etc. But he has actually started responding to the criticisms, which I applaud immensely. Where is it? Right here, right here. Someone, someone was worried, like, I, I hope you guys don't give up on this game. Being defeated is often a temporary condition. Giving up is what makes it permanent. We haven't given up, Nick. We're still working hard on the updates for the game. Cheers, Payday 3. What other company would say something like that? And, like I said, it's from... Oh, okay, someone made it a quote. I thought I, I thought someone made this. No, this is something Payday said. They just reposted it. Jesus Christ. There's also a rumor right now because of St. Patrick's Day... That now they they said to all Clover fans, so now there's a giant rumor that Clover is in the game, which yeah, it would be cool, but like I don't think we need another heister <laughs> at this point. Um, there was someone who posted like a giant. It was Opera Opera GX, which is what I'm on right now. That posted there are more people playing Gas Station Simulator than Payday Three, and Payday Three, you know what, took it like a fucking champ and was like. We know it's a love, terrific game. So Gas Station Simulator came out here and said, Likewise, Payday is my go-to when I just want to have fun with friends, not gonna lie. And that's just crazy. What other company would do this? Like, it's awesome. Right here, what are you up to after work? Could use a little drink and complaining about work session. JK, love my job. <laughs> Planning the next heist. Have a great start to your week, Gas Station Simulator Twitter, man. It's just... Whoever this guy is, he clearly either A, loves his job, or B, he is trying really hard to look good if Starbreeze goes under so that he can easily get another job doing someone's social media. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about, like I said, I haven't talked about Payday 3 since my two videos, and I've just been, I'm worried. Like, this is not something that should have failed. This game should not have failed. They had everything they needed. But they wanted to do stuff different and nobody liked it. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for letting me take a little break last week. I really needed it while getting my PC ready and my new job as you can see. Also, I'm loving my new job. It's so great. I can actually make videos. I hope you notice like I'm actually not exhausted in this video. And it's just great to go. But I won't bore you with all the boring stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.